Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at the entire lineup of 2022 Matchbox main lines. This is going to be quite the video. It's, it's going to be a long one, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to try to get through them as pretty as, as quick as I can. I know we got roughly a hundred cars or so to look at. And what I actually did was um, I ranked them in least to most favorite of release of the year. Now, this obviously could change, and it was kind of just a rough guess, kind of rip through the cars as quick as I can to kind of figure out a, a gist on how I'm going to show you guys. So, um, it's not 100% accurate, but I am curious to know what is your least and most favorite casting or release, whatever, of the year. Um, but yes, we have a ton to look at. And real quick, there technically is one car I am missing, and that is the Volkswagen ID4 from Mix 6. Now, in Mix 6, they call it the Volkswagen EV4. That's actually the incorrect name. The proper name of the car is the ID4, so it never showed up. I don't know if it ever will because of licensing issues because it's called the completely wrong car. I don't know. So that's why I don't have it once so technically there's one car missing, but uh, let's get into it. It's going to be a long one, and it is cold out here. It's probably like 3 degrees Celsius. Um, some of them are in boxes, uh, like this one here, and some of them aren't. Sorry, my hands are dirty. I was putting, actually, my winter tires on my car today. Um, I'm going to try to rip through these as quick as I can. I don't know, actually, where I'm going to put these. Yeah, we're going to go there. So we have this one here. I might zoom in just a little bit. The push and puller, least favorite, by far. It's kind of a neat idea, but... Uh, I guess you call it unlicensed. They might have made something like this in real life, but not a great car, to be honest. I uh, appreciate the creativity, and I'm sure some people might like it. Kids, for sure. Um, this one does get some points just because of the fact that it is INC. I never bothered getting the other variation. To be honest, I didn't really care that much about this one, so I wasn't too worried. Um, I do appreciate the INC livery. There's so many of these now. Um, but everybody's seen these on the pegs. And there is that one. Actually, what is this thing called even? Mini cargo truck. Uh, next one was actually in mix six. It was this one here that I sent flying. Um, metal base, plastic body, the armored truck. Kind of neat, but unlicensed. Not the coolest thing in the world. But it's all right. Moving along, moving along. I'm going to try to take this out. Let's pack it. Player's Razor. You've seen it in black so many times. The only difference is a little bit of tampos to change color. It's a peg warmer. It is, <coughs> excuse me, it is licensed. Um, but just not that exciting, to be honest. Next, we have this appears to be an ice cream truck. See, I wrote it on this one. Some of them I did and some of them I didn't. Man, my hands are freezing, so... This is proving to be... Ah. Well, if I break it, I break it. All of my cars stored in those little boxes like that. You know, I don't hate this one. Like the Childmobile and stuff like that. I, I like that a lot more than this one. This one's just a little bit too cartoony for me. Yeah, it's the ice cream van. Coca Mocha. It's okay, but we all know. Peg warmer. Ah, uh, yes. Another peg warmer. I know we got to get through the kind of meh stuff. This one sees a few more points in my list because, given the fact that it is a worn parts delivery and it is technically licensed, I believe it's the International E Star, correct? Plastic body, metal base. So it gets. A little better than those in my opinion uh, but marginally so so there's that one um, this one might be surprising to people I don't really like this casting um, this particular deco is actually okay so I might have ranked this one a little bit higher because I actually don't mind the matchbox adventures theme it's just this casting is a little bulky there are definitely better Jeep castings for sure so there's that one 
this one, uh, Polaris Slingshot, I believe it is. Yeah, plastic base, metal body. Just, I mean, a well-executed car. I mean, there's a lot of crazy angles and stuff like that. Just kind of ugly. It's just an ugly looking car in real life vehicle thing. Um, well-executed, just not something I really love. Um, Road Stripe King, I think. Huh, doesn't actually say it. Stripe King, I think it is. I actually don't mind this casting, but again, it's one of those unlicensed ones where there are ones that are definitely a little bit better. And uh, this one's fun, it's creative. I definitely like it, and I will always get every single one they make. Um, but it is obviously more exciting cars from this year, so that one is pretty low on my list. Um, where are we going here? The 350Z. Didn't really like this Deco that much. Um, fantastic cast, though. Uh, 350Z in, in real life has never been necessarily my favorite car, so that's why it ranks a little bit lower. Um, but it's still okay. Again, licensed, so we're always happy to see licensed. Kind of this funky drift AEM livery. So it's okay, but again, there are more exciting ones to we will be looking at. Um, I love the creativity on this one. So we have that one there and the other variation. This is the Sheriff um, uh, trailer. Well, I don't know why I can think of words. Motorcycle trailer. Yeah, this one's very popular. It's always scooped up. This is fun to collect both of them. And Mix 1 of 2023, I think I've said before, has another one of these. So looking forward to that one. Always happy to have trailers. Slowly moving along here. This is going to be insane cleaning this up. I believe this is the Chow Mobile we mentioned. Actually, the same, almost the same, well, not quite the same, but brown base. Chow Mobile. Underrated casting. I think it's actually pretty neat. I don't know why it sits on the pegs. It's a fun, cool livery. I mean, they could do some cool, pretty cool stuff on the, the side of this. Um, definitely an unlicensed casting that I really enjoy. So, still pretty low on the list. We got some cool stuff to look at for sure. One day I'll do a showcase on this one because I've got so many. I mean, a bunch of them's open, five packs, all that stuff. But I've said before, happy to see the cargo carriers, couriers, sorry. Uh, livery used to be a metal body, now it's a plastic body, metal base. Um, what a fantastic unlicensed. This has to be maybe top 10, top 15 unlicensed castings. Um, it's really, really nice, honestly. Underappreciated. Like it. Um, I might have to start moving cars already. This little excavator thing. What's this thing actually called? Skidster. This one's fun. They've made a million of these, and they're fun to collect. Unlicensed, but when you have them all together, they look really nice. I think they're an INC and a bunch of other ones. Um, happy to see it. A lot of weight for what little thing this is. Um, yeah, definitely like that one. I'm going to start moving cars here. Let me push some cars off to the back. Because you guys want to see all this stuff. I could pause it, but... Eh. Oops. Try not to break any of this stuff. I guess we'll leave that one there in the corner. Um, I don't know where this fell in the lineup. It kind of got mixed up, but that's okay. The Citroen Ami, Amy, whatever the heck thing. Uh, fair amount of weight for how little it is, but even though it is licensed, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. Although we do appreciate appreciate the licensed castings. These things are sitting on the pegs, but nonetheless, we have one in the collection. We go with the Matchbox Adventures Nissan NV, I think it's called. NV van. What a terrible van in real life, honestly. These are really, really bad vans, but um, this is very well executed. I appreciate the Adventure Tours. Very nice metallic brown paint. 
That's a clean, simple van. Um, let's see here. Uh, does this move? Oh, it does. I didn't know that. Back home. National Parks livery. So it gets some points there for sure. Ranked higher. Um, but again, not my favorite backhoe. Uh, it's still fun, especially when you get these all together. Actually, what uh, date is on this? 2018. So there's probably quite a few of these. I think I have a few, but not, not all of them for sure. I'm happy to have another National Parks. Keep coming my way, that's for sure. Another one that is actually pretty popular, it's actually being scooped up a lot, I haven't seen it on the pegs very much, strangely, uh, is the Road Roller. I'm sure a lot of kids are buying this stuff. Um, a fun, neat, unlicensed casting. I think this is brand new, isn't it? Am I wrong? 2021, yeah. This is brand new casting. So that's not bad. One day I gotta do a construction video because I got so many different castings. Um... What should we look at here? Where am I going? I think I'm going this way. Again, this could be wrong, but we're just going to go well with it. Ah, uh, this is the garbage truck. Garbage King. A lot of plastic. Um, this is a very popular unlicensed casting. Pacific Northwest. Who doesn't love a classic Matchbox garbage truck? Should have pulled out an old one with the moving part in the back. Obviously this one doesn't have it because it's too expensive, but that one's pretty nice. Renault Kangoo in the shell livery. This one was a uh, new casting, uh, but didn't quite take off. Um, always happy to have delivery vans though. Hopefully they create some nice, fun liveries for this casting and hopefully it still continues because I'm always happy to have um, delivery type vehicles in the collection. Um, just easier for me to open some of these Ooh, off camera. Put this thing on. This one was a hit. I think this came out a year or two ago now. This is the Garbage Scout. Yeah, about two years ago. I think this is the fourth or third one we've seen. Um, it looks based off like a some sort of Chevy truck or something. Let's see, a removable little piece. Definitely a cool idea. And yet again, what a way to make an unlicensed casting look really good. There's that one. One that I was kind of disappointed with this year was this one here, simply because of the Deco choice. I think they could have just done a little bit better. It's the 65 Ford C900. I think it's a great looking casting. Uh, the whole cab is made of metal, which I, I like that. Um, good choice on that. Just the Deco just isn't doing it. Um, it's okay. Maybe they should have chose black wheels or silver wheels or something. Just a little, too, a little bit too much uh, cartoony, if you will, for me. Um, let's hope we get some more of those coming back for the following 2023 and see some nice decos for that one. We have this Jeep Renegade. Not very exciting, but well executed licensed casting. We've seen a ton of these now. Um, 2019, yeah, we've seen like five or six of them now. Um, not bad. Always welcome in the collection. I've said before, my mother has one of these in white. I don't think they ever made a white one. I don't think so. I was hoping they would. Got the classic Jeep Willys. This one ranked a little lower. I mean, it's classic, but we've seen it so many times, and I'm, I don't have anywhere near all of them. There's just a billion of them. Um, but we're always excited, excited to have another Willys. You can never go wrong with that. I'm sure it's cheap for them to manufacture, too, because there isn't a lot going on with it. Classic, simple, nice. And we got a Fiat 500. This car was never really even appreciated in real life. I actually quite like them. A bit funky, weird, super tall looking things, but they are pretty fun to drive. 
especially the Abarth versions. I really like this blue though. I was quite excited to get this one. And then it's just a peg warmer. Strange, but I like it. And next we got the Subaru Sandbar, Sunbar, I think. Let me see. This thing's so tiny. I can't read it. I think it's Subaru Sandbar. I'm gonna go with that. Everybody loves this one. This one's actually picked up quite a bit because it's so tiny, right? Bunch of different decos on this one now. I'm sure that means something. I think it's Matchbox or something in uh, Japanese, Chinese. I almost wish you had black wheels. But pretty nice. Um, we got the Mix 6 Renault uh, Megane in a silvery blue. This one just is a new casting, I believe. 2022 Renault Megane. Not bad, not bad. I would love to see them make other Renault Megans of older ones because they made some pretty cool ones for sure. There's some neat Renaults out there for sure. Next on my list is the Mazda Miata. K&N stripes. Not a big fan of the deco, but they did a really good job with this casting. Proportions are pretty good. How long has it been around? A few years. There's a couple of decos on this now. I just want to see better decos for this. Different colors, maybe. Let's see some more Miatas. Uh, let me see. I tuck this one down here. I'll move these cars again in a minute. We got the Scout, isn't it? Field car. Man, I keep thinking it's the Scout. Unlicensed casting. This one's gobbled up. Everybody loves this unlicensed casting. And uh, Mountain something. Love the blue. This one's a winner. What a great unlicensed casting. Maybe they should, they should do a police version. That would be fun. I like that. Let me move some more cars. We'll get to the next little batch of cars. I could pause it. The <laughs> hat. No fun. We're gonna run this space. I got so much stuff to look at. We haven't even got through the first box. <laughs> okay. I think this is actually another new casting. I should have brought a drink out here because I'm going to do a lot of talking. Matchbox Rescue Dasher. Brand new casting. Very excited to have a new fire truck casting. Looks very similar to the other ones, but who doesn't love a classic Matchbox fire truck? We've always done a good job of that. And a lot of plastic, but it's still got a good amount of weight. Well executed, a lot of detail. Yeah, you really don't need anything on the front, so. Yeah, that's a winner. That one definitely gets higher on my list. Next is the Honda Civic. CBCC, I think it's called. Dream, I think is the license plate. It's been around for a few years. I think there's five or six of these now. Um, Kind of hanging on the pegs. Hype has died off a little bit on this casting, but I'm always excited to have a nice little Honda Civic. Um, um, Hot Wheels is making a bunch of new Hondas and stuff like that, so hopefully we get some for Matchbox lineup, because I do like me some Hondas. Next is the Volkswagen Cab. Volkswagen Beetle Cabrio in a very nice orange I love this orange. Actually, I saw one of these today, to be honest. And I actually don't think they're ugly looking cars. I prefer the hard top, but just not super exciting. So it ranks a little bit lower on my list. But always appreciate a good Volkswagen. They've actually not made a bunch of these. I think there's only two or three since 19. So they haven't released it a whole bunch, but they seem to get picked up off the pegs pretty quick. Everybody loves Volkswagens. Next, we have a Land Rover Defender. 
This one ranks a little bit lower because there's other defenders that I like a little bit more. Um, just not a big fan of the windows and the way they look because there's a lot of windows. But I appreciate the fact that it has a removable top. You can interchange them, which is pretty fun. Uh, classic safari livery. Africa. This one's great. Always popular. We're slowly getting cooler cars. This Land Rover, I definitely prefer this casting. It was super well done. I know it's got all black, but it's really nice to have that break from the bottom to the top because there would have been no other way they could, could have done it, especially having the front and rear, the top like that. For a $1 car, it's pretty hard to beat. This is a really nice looking car in real life. It looks expensive. I quite like it. I like to make them a, a four-door. I should definitely make a four-door. Uh, next we have the CX-5 in blue. I would like them to make the new CX-5. I definitely like the new Mazdas a lot more, but I'm always happy to have a nice Mazda. I've grown to liking Mazdas. I never used to like them, but I almost bought a new Mazda um, before I bought my Kia. Maybe 2017? Well, I guess I didn't know it was that old. Yeah, the new Mazdas are really nice. Um, didn't buy one. I just, the, the Kia made more sense for me. And of course, you can't have a Matchbox mix without a Mini Cooper. This is the Mini Countryman. Been around for a few years now. Geez, what, 2018, really? Wow. Been around for a few years. Same thing. Got the black top. Nice to have that break and that texture. I'm okay not having an interior on this one, just to have that break. It looks nice. Front, rear. Very nice blue. Got a bunch of these now. The green Top Gun one. It's really nice. Okay, that's the first little box. Now we're getting on the big box. So, where am I beginning on this one? We're going this way. Yeah. Okay. Ranked kind of low on my list is this Tesla Model Y. Just not really a good looking car in real life. I've never really loved Teslas. Um, but I've said a million times, these are well executed castings. And I appreciate them even though they're ugly cars in real life. And I'm surprised as I've said before, this thing has quite a bit of weight to it. Even that dashboard doesn't look that bad. One dollar car, right? Um, next we have the Ford Taurus police vehicle. They've been a bunch of these now. I'm trying to get them all, but they're quite difficult to get. I've got some harder ones to get that I still have to open. I'm excited to open those. 2010, wow. I'm always amazed how old some of these are, actually. These castings, I should say, not the release. Hazmat team. That was nice. Next, we get the Honda E. Not a big electric car person, but I do quite like the way this little thing looks. I've said before, this kind of looks like a Honda Fit electric. And the interiors look pretty cool on these two. A little bit of blue on top of there, but that's okay. Never noticed that. Yeah, pretty neat little casting. Next is the Honda Ridgeline. I'm surprised they're still making this, to be honest, because it's been around for quite a while. Uh, 16, so not super long, but I'm surprised they're still making it. I'm always happy with it. Metallic orange. Ooh, I wonder if there's a different version with nothing in the bed. Hmm, I wonder. But these old Ridgelines are actually kind of growing on me. And uh, they're getting hard to get, actually, to be honest. They were used and they were abused. A lot of work trucks in the city. Um, next, we got a Jeep. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeep Gladiator. Pretty cool that they did it with no doors. It was a great way to keep the cost down. Um, but still create a fun design. Nothing on the front. It really needs that front detail. 
It really, really does. Uh, I've been around for a few years now. There's a couple of decos. This looks good, man. Crazy green. Gunmetal gray wheels. Looks good. What do we got? 25 minutes. Holy crap. We're getting there, I swear. Bentley. This one was the one that people didn't like. Don't know why. I I mean, I guess people say this car's ugly in real life. I don't know. I guess I'd rather have a call in, but I think it looks pretty good. I've always liked Bentleys, though. It does look like a Q7. It really does. Um, here's an old one. National Parks. Who doesn't love this? This is being gobbled up. Uh, they used to call this something field car or something, whatever. Not field car, because that's that thing, I think. Whatever. They changed the name a couple of times. Um, this used to have a moving part. Doesn't have anymore. A lot of plastic, but this has been around since the 90s, I think. Late 80s, maybe. And happy to see they're still making this. Can't really see it. Tuck it there. Next, we got the Opal Cadet. Reason why this is a little bit lower on the list. Um, I guess we're, yeah, kind of mid pack. Yeah, I'd say this is mid pack, give or take. Um, just something about the deco. Just needed that front. That front really is a little bare. I think it would look a little better. So let's see what the future has in store for this casting. Because otherwise, I think it's pretty good. It's super chunky and blocky, but that's of the era, right? Alright, we're gonna have to move some cars again. Holy we got no space. Oh, oh. Breaking stuff. Alright, let me move some stuff here. I did tell you guys, hey, this is a long video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. I know some of my videos are all over the place. I'm working on it. I'm working on better quality, more reliability. It's just very difficult. But we're trying. That's good enough for now. Don't know what I'm going to do with the rest. I might have to actually put them back in the box later. Um, cars are getting really cold now. MG F, MG GT Coupe. Uh, three or four releases now. This actually might be my favorite in this yellow. No, I like the green one. The green one with the chrome base is definitely my favorite. That's okay. This one they only ever released once, and I don't know why. I'm sure it may be costly to, to um, create. Uh, what the heck is this thing? The Curtis Sports Car. Why are we not seeing this one again? We only see it once. What a weird looking little car, eh? I think it's cool. Never heard of it before, but something very different for Matchbox to do, and I'm always happy with that. That even that never showed up with the pegs. It was it was gone. Of course, I've said before, Peel Regional Services, always happy to have this one. Given the fact that I live near near Peel Region. International Ambulance Plastic Body Metal Base. That's okay with me. It's good. I love this casting. Probably the only one who does. <laughs> this is the Hazard Squad. Because they've made so many of these. When you, like I said before, when you get these all together, they look really, really good. So, kind of a NASA theme fire truck so that's pretty cool um where are we going we're going this way so we have three here we're st i still don't, i don't have the uh, fourth one from my buddy he has it for me at his house i just haven't seen him but it's the mr2 now in red the first one in white is a blue target which i still don't have um three of them i have one and this red one. So we have all four of them. 
Left hand drive, right hand drive, headlights up, headlights down. I'm actually gonna put that back in the box because I don't have a ton of space. Next we have the oh that's blinding. What the heck is this thing called? Oh, right there. 36 Ford Coupe. There's another old car that I just ranked a little bit higher, although I might be regretting holding. Ooh, that scared the crap out of me. The fenders are actually made of metal in this, so actually I'm, I might think this thing's a little bit better. Just when you're looking at dead-ons from the side, there's something about the weird angle. I mean, that's just the way the car is, right? But I actually have to turn down the brightness. That's a little better. Getting dark here. That was actually quite a bit of weight to this thing. And chrome base. It's pretty nice. Uh, we'll get to that other old car here in a minute. Where the heck is it? Oh, we still got ways to go, but we'll get to it. Charger police in the NASA patrol. Classic. Who doesn't love a nice cop car? Made a million of these chargers now. 2012. Yeah, so slowly working on getting them. I was very excited to see the NASA livery version. Um, next, we got the Chevy Caprice. I'm trying to rip through these now because we're at 20 something minutes or 30 minutes. Maybe this might be a two parter. We'll find out. Just didn't like the livery very much. But otherwise, the casting is fantastic. I'm hoping it comes back again in 2023. We've got a G-Wagon. This is going to be a nightmare putting these away, by the way. In a matte blue. Let's see more of these. I'm down for that. More Mercedes, please. I guess you could say it's almost like a Shmi um, Mercedes. Uh, Subaru SVX, lacking a little bit of detail, but I do appreciate the taillights that go all the way around. Plastic top, easiest way they can do it. What the heck is going on? Oh, that's just because it's a little bit sharp because the, this whole thing is plastic. Ah, I see. Uh, the gold wheels is a very nice touch. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about this one. This is kind of one of those weird castings that I tend to forget even exists. Because they never made a whole lot. I think there's only two. Uh, it's the Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Headlights are part of the windshield. Taillights. This car really is kind of growing on me though. I never used to like it. I kind of used to think it was ugly, but it, it is growing on me. Where does it say? 2021. Yeah, I think there's only two of these now. It's strange how they don't release a lot of them sometimes. Um, got an Audi TT and a just basic gloss red. I think the color choice could have been a little bit better, but they don't make a lot of Audi TTs, so always happy with a Volkswagen Group product. See more Audis too. Why aren't we seeing more? I think we definitely should. Tesla Model X. This is a brand new casting. I ranked this a little too high, I think. I think it should have been a little lower now I think about it. But it was still a very well executed casting. They actually did a way better job on this interior than the Y. Tesla Model Y. So we had that in blue. We also got it in a white. So back to back. Doesn't happen too often. And then we have two Ford Explorer cop cars. I actually thought they were double. And they're sneaky sometimes. They, I don't know the last time I ever did. Two white Explorers in the same year. White on blue. See that was very similar. Licensed. I am very happy with that. Always happy with licensed. 
Toyota Hilux in green. Front detail, rear detail, looking good. Let's see some more colors of this. Maybe get those classic stripes on it from the Toyotas of the 80s and 90s. I'm down with that. What is this thing? 57 Dodge swept side. Only two releases of this one so far. Actually, I lied. Three. Because the new Dodge set has one of these, I believe. Very bright, colorful 50s Dodge. Not bad. Uh, I'll do one more and then we'll clean up here for a minute. Ford Mustang Mach E kind of has the weird Ford problem with the Matchbox cast in there. A bit stumpy. I don't know. I don't hate it. Just, just, just a little bit off. Otherwise, I think it's a great looking car. And that color choice is nice. I'm going to move a couple cars back. Ooh, I'm really stretching to get the cars back that far. We're almost done, guys. Alright, this should be the last leg here. Uh, let's go with the Ford Bronco. Which would be this chase, which I'm still actually trying to get this chase. Um, as I mentioned in the previous video, Tampa Air. Dang, sucks, but I'll actually probably give this to my friend so we can take the wheels off of it or something. So there's a chase, and the regular would be very nice blue one hopefully we see some more of this maybe a lifted version let's hope uh, Subaru Forester in red and a couple of these now lovely metallic red almost bought one of these in the wilderness edition it was either that or the Forester but inside the Kia obviously I do like the Wilderness Edition. This is pretty cool. Got this Cadillac here. Blinding as always. 41 Cadillac. Ugh, can't read that. Series 62. This thing's gorgeous. Still a few of them I'm missing on that. They never really showed up here, that Cadillac series. So, hunting for those. This one ranked a little bit higher. Oh, fanboy. I love Buicks mean classic black silver stripe going down the side and a white interior looks good this car is really cold Toyota FJ been around for a long time now 2008 so there's a million of these one day I'll have them all classic of course can't have a matchbox here without a Volkswagen bug. I really like this color. It's growing on me a lot. That's why it ranks quite high on my list. This one too surprised me with the chrome. I still like the black on, or not the chrome. I thought they said chrome for a minute. The black on chrome one was my favorite, but this red on like a copper type base it does look really good. And like the Volkswagen Bug, what it, what Matchbox year would it be without a nice old classic Mini Cooper? It can make a million of these, and they will always be scooped up. So, a fun pink, bright color. Next, we got the Corvette C8 and a nice metallic black. Tampos in the front. And on the rear, I love this car. It looks so good. We did have a chase of the Corvette, but that was last year. Porsche 918, 
proportions are really good. Just something about the color. I, I think they could have introduced it in a, in a little bit of a different color. Um, that's why it's not number one on my list or close to. Um, but yeah. Still very happy to have a 918. Um, this was a nice little surprise. This is a Ford. 32 Ford Coupe. The way it sits, it's nice and low and mean. This thing's being scooped up. Looks great. I'm just trying to rip through these. I know we're already, geez, 40 minutes. Ford Maverick. I keep thinking it's a Maverick. Capri. This was a very popular casting. It looks really good. Got the chrome treatment, front detail. I think this thing looks really nice, especially with the steelies. Kind of could be a sleeper, you never know. Here's the other older car that I was mentioning that I liked a little bit more. So then about the execution. I think it just looks cool. So ship. Gosh, it's hard to read. Holy. 34 Chevy Master Coupe. Just fender flares are crazy. Gosh, you still got a bunch of this. You got an Alpha Romeo Julia. A beautiful blue. Tesla Roadster. Yeah, I'm very curious to know the future of this casting. I don't know if we'll see a ton more. Maybe. I don't know. So I'm not sure what else they could do with it. Maybe. maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. NASA Deco, maybe? Another one they've actually made quite a few of in the past few years. Relatively new castings. The Nissan. <clears throat> Hard body. No, white. I think they're pretty much all been the same deco. I'd like to see some new deco choices though. Uh, we got the Dodge Durango. Really, the only complaint I guess I would have is the trailer hitch on the back. Otherwise, it looks so mean. Running out of time here. Got the 66. Hey, I got that right. Dust Charger. Beautiful orange. Kind, kind of, sort of, generally. I know, not the same year, but orange is very similar. That one's so popular. I had this white Plymouth Savoy. I keep forgetting that's correct. Yep, Plymouth Savoy. Gorgeous. Kind of ugly, but kind of gorgeous. Just crazy lines on it. This dog needs to be quiet. Next, we have the Ford Lightning. I love the proportions of this. I think they did an excellent job with this casting. We're getting to the end, guys. We're pretty much top 10 right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, we only got like 15. <laughs> Cadillac CT4V. CT5V. New casting, but kind of one of the ones that's under the radar right now. I love it, honestly. Can't wait to see more of that. Maybe a matte black. I think that'd be really cool. Mazda 3. Mentioned I wanted to buy one of these in real life. I think it's a great looking little hatchback. It's a shame they won't bring back the Mazda Speed, but very, very nice car. Uh, Dodge Charger in a purple. Gorgeous purple. I think it's a different casting than that police one, right? What the heck is that on? I'm not fighting. Oh, yeah, it is different. There's that one. We got the finally re-released 
we go to Tacoma pick up with camper. Classic delivery. This one was gobbled up. Good luck finding it. Obviously that comes off. I have the original releases, so I'm really happy about that because those are stupid hard to find now. I think two or three of these, and I'm thankful I have that many because it's pretty hard to find. I was pleasantly surprised with this. I think it's a 996 cab. Gorgeous green paint on gold. This one looks so good. This is definitely up there at the top 10. It might be top 10 now, I don't know. I'll count in a minute. I'll count down the top five for sure. Um, McLaren 720. This was a nice surprise this year in the satin uh, lime color. Well, I guess the only complaint is the front windshield could be different. Or it could be clear, but honestly, who cares? It looks gorgeous. Cabin here. We got two more, and then we got the top five Audi e tron. This was a nice surprise as well. What a way to highlight this casting as a new release in this very bright blue. Looks good. Big wagon guy can't go within, can't go up uh, in the ranks without having a clean, simple black on black three series wagon everybody loved this one everybody wanted it at least around here uh one two three four five so we got top five right now so this is number five volkswagen mark one mix two i've mentioned earlier skipped us entirely so i managed to get a whole case of stuff and i was very fortunate thankfully I managed to actually get a couple after so i've got three or four now but very, 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 very difficult to get here. Number four is the... My hands are going numb. Mercedes wagon. I just love the black on tan. The dog dish wheels. Only complaint is that it doesn't have chrome base. Man, if it did, that'd be perfect. Gorgeous. Oh, gosh, I got nowhere to put it. This one ranked really high for me. This is a Ford Custom. 300 chrome base front detail nothing on the rear but that's okay just mean black on black dog dish how can you not like that and we have two more to go i wasn't sure about this one and then as i got it in hand i think it's just gorgeous and such a well executed casting the pink chevy elko 1960 Chrome, rear detail, just the way they did all the lines, it's gorgeous. I only ever think I found one of these, which is a shame because it's amazing. And number one for me, finally, 48 minutes later, I know guys, I know, long video, but hopefully you guys stay and watch the whole thing, the Lexus LS. Big fan of the Lexus LS. My buddies had two. Um, Matt Farah had one, obviously, famous. This thing is gorgeous, classic, and very, very rare car in real life now. Legendary car. I mean, the unkillable Lexus. That's my number one favorite. And of course, it was hard to get because it was mixed two, so it never showed up. So I was lucky to get a couple of them. And we can't show all that and not show the latest mix six super chase bam throw that right in the mix there just throw it in there zoom on out here look at that what chaos is that you guys are lucky you don't have to clean all this up these guys are ice cold now i have to find a way to put these all away <sighs> 49 minutes getting into 50 minutes hopefully you guys enjoy hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i got tons more to film so stay tuned for more